today I'm going to be doing an unboxing of the small rig NPF battery plate. So here is the little box. Really simple. Let's go ahead and open this. So inside the box we get a little baggie here and uh, we get our Allen tool I guess to tighten up these screws and we get two small quarter 20 screws included. Let's put this aside for a second and then going in more we get our MPF plate here and this is how it looks like. Okay so right off the bat it has like a kind of a satin finish to it and it's kind of light. I, in the pictures it kind of looks like it's made out of aluminum but it's just made out of plastic. The reason why I got this is because it has an output for 12 volts and it has an output, output on the other side for 7.4 volts. You get a 7.4 and you get a 12 volt. And another thing about the 12 volt is it's really convenient because the MPF batteries actually only output 7.4 volts so this little box here actually steps up the voltage so you can power your camera or any other accessories that take 12 volts and not 7.4 we get another quarter 20 locking bolt if you want to rig something different you have the option for these two smaller bolts okay so what i'm going to do now is going to just plug in an mpf battery that i have lying around Okay, so once I plug it in, as you can see, we get a green light. And I did read on the description that you'll get a green light, and then once your battery starts to go down, you'll get a red light. So that uh, it's a little bit of an indicator as to when your battery is about to go out. So that's kind of convenient. So you kind of know when you're filming that, like, oh, I better change batteries pretty soon. So that's kind of nice. And on the back here, it has like a little locking pin where you have to, if you want to take out the MPF battery, you have to press it in a little bit and kind of pry the, the battery right off of it. So that's kind of nice so you know that it's going to be securely snug in here and it won't like shake off or anything. I'm going to go ahead and test out how this battery plate works. Here I have a DC connector to 2.5 to 2.5 and I'm going to power one of my camera monitors with it. So first let's connect our battery here and we're getting our green light meaning we have power and then I'm going to go ahead and connect this here to the 12 volt um, socket here and then here I should have power now going towards this connector. On the back side of my monitor it says that it needs a DC 12 volt input in order to be powered on so we're going to go ahead and see if it works. So we see on my monitor, I have a light here. So now I can go ahead and turn on my, my monitor with my battery pack. Here I have a camera plate, a cheese plate that you would find on uh, most cameras, like just the whole alignment. And we're gonna see if our battery plate by small rig is gonna mount up pretty good on this. So you just tighten it and then you just put this down and you hide the screw and then now I'm rigged basically and I just get my battery and then it's not going anywhere so that's one way of rigging it in order to take uh, any of the screws off it seems like you have to thread it through this one bigger end of the slot here which is kinda convenient so that if you like tip it over or something you're not gonna lose your screw This one's a little bit more difficult to put in. And now these can stay inside here and they won't come out anymore. All right, there we go. Now we see our plate doesn't even want to twist. It's very snug um, and you know, it still accommodates the battery pretty well. Thank you for watching.